What? Hello everybody, it's Neil and today I'm going to be playing Mushi's Kitchen. Number one, let's get about a kitchen. There's a chef right there. So I've got to play it. I've got to see what this is about. Uh, number two, found this on Itchio. Um, may have seen, I don't know whether I'll be uploading this one first or some of the others, but I've been playing a few Itchio games over the past couple of nights. So uh, this is the next one on the list that I've found, that I've been wanting to play. Let's get into it. There we go, the kitchen is all cleaned up and we can finally go home. This was me a couple of hours ago. <laughs> I should speak to Mitch before he leaves. I'm Todd, wow. Afterwards, I'll speak to Veronica in her office. So let's have a look, why does it feel slanty? Oh my, oh. Really, is this how we're gonna walk everywhere? Right, kitchen inspection. Oh, Mushi's kitchen. Oh my God, who's that? This is our colleague. Gender neutral bathroom. Progressive. What's that in the bin? Why is it so highlighted? Oh, I can't look any further down, but it's original hot sauce. What brand? Uh, I think that that's just the brand original. So here we go. We've got the filters, the extractor fan. Got nice hubs and a ni nice looking oven. Oh, they haven't done the dishes. They're in the sink. Just leave the knife out. Leave the rolling pin out. Um, you know, I guess it looks serviceable as a uh, a working kitchen. Um, got Chef Mike there. Oh, look at that sprint. Veronica. Well, you're, um, well endowed, aren't you? And you love your morning milk. What have you been drawing? Blue Looks like a gingerbread man. Oh my god. That's us. Hard. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, I mean, like, it did tell me at the beginning of the, the game. Oh, look at that lens flare. Perfectly round. Got your kitchen cleaned up pretty quickly tonight, Todd. If you see my car keys around here, let me know. I can't leave the kitchen without them. I mean, you can. But it's just probably not recommended. What's that area? The storage area. Let's have a look at the storage. Oh, this is where we put our chef's whites. Washer dryer. I mean... I mean, number one, is this a storage area? Why do you have a toothbrush there? And not just one toothbrush, two toothbrushes? There's three of us, if you include Veronica. What? And a bar of soap. This isn't what I call storage. Where's your fridge? Where's your freezer? Do you only sell ambient? Check the microwave. Todd. No, I'm Todd. Which one are you? I will never, will never find out. I've already forgotten his name. 1969. It's been going a while then. Veronica. Hi, Todd. Before you go tonight, I'm going to need you to speak to Mushi. In case you didn't know, we made the decision to retire Mushi and rebrand our kitchen. Times are changing and kids these days find Mushi to be creepy. Go speak to Mushi for me. I left a retirement gift in the janitor's closet. You should give... Oh, I've left a gift in the janitor's closet that you should give him after you speak to him. Ah, oh. You're sacked. Oh, I can't access the dining area. Oh, do we have like a nymph? What's going on? 
Is that Mushi? Wow. So, what are you? <laughs> I thought at the very least it might be a person in a costume, but it doesn't seem like it. You can't speak to Mushi. It also is very, uh, nice lighting, very sexy lighting. The bed. Uh, just remind me again, why is there a, a bedroom, a storage area with teeth cleaning facilities? Why, why is all this like in a, what I assume is a professional working kitchen? And also, where's Riker's computer? I mean, I guess this is 1969. Well, no, it's not 1969. The place was founded in 1969. Where are they now? It's a present. Oh, do I just find the car keys? Uh, do I just click aimlessly? Steve's workshop. Steve only. Hey, Todd. You can't go into the workshop today. I've got a new mask on in the works. In case you haven't heard yet, Mushi's been retired. Sucks to see him go, but hey, it's time for a change. Have a nice day. Oh, what's that behind the gift? Why can't I pick up the gift? There's a note behind the gift. It's about Aaron. The lighter. Aren't I supposed to talk to Mushi? Why can't I talk to Mushi? Do I have to give uh, Bella his car keys? Where are you? Is he in a gender neutral bathroom? Man, this shit is bad. I've been here about 30 minutes. Crap, are you kidding me? There's no toilet paper in here. If anyone's out there, please chop me some toilet paper. It's in the third stall. Hurry, I have to get home to my wife and four children. I can't get in the third stall. I knew they would show up eventually. Once I'm done in here, I can finally head home and play some indie horror games on Itchio. You should check out Ratchet and Shelton. He makes great games. Um, show me one. <laughs> In fact, Ratchet and Shelton recently won the award for being the best game developer of all time. He's so cool. Do you remember when people used to be humble? And not like, big headed. <laughs> no, I don't either. That's, that's not the third stool. Unless he's in the third stool. Oh, just went through the door. Oh, I guess we just chuck them over each. There we go. Wow. Not even a thank you. What? <laughs> no. So like a secret in there now. No. Mm, Veronica, we need to talk. This place is full of weirdos. I don't know if I can work here much longer. Right, now can I do the present? Why can't I do the present? It's like I've helped everyone. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't go in there. I feel like here is going mental. Uh, 
Uh. Right, uh, I, I don't, I just don't know. Oh, there we go. I had to, I had to look at a specific part of him. I'm sorry for not catching that. Great games. Well done, Shelton. Hey, Mucci, I have something to tell you, pal. Veronica just informed me that her and management have decided to retire you and rebrand the kitchen. I know, it sucks, I know it sucks, but times are changing. Just wait here, buddy. I'm going to go and get something for you. Aaron, the doors have no colliders. Your friend, Omo. What does that mean? He's gone. It's not like him for him. It's not like him to wander off. I should look around for him. If I can't find him, I'll ask Veronica. Well, let's just straight away ask Veronica. Well, that's a good idea to me. How did Mushy take the news? Does he like his gift? Really have to cut out. Go and turn on the backup power. Power's back on. Let's go back to Veronica. Uh oh. Are we on our own now? Veronica. What's happened? I can't believe it's happening. I guess I know it's responsible. I could get out of here quick. You can't leave, Todd. Don't find the crowbar. Oh, come on, I'll dodge ya. Which way are you going? That's it, come this way. Oh, no, he's going to the gender neutral bathroom. Is it in his room? It sure is. Oh, now I'm caught on the, uh, <laughs> Mushi gone mad. A local man by the name of Todd, who works at the popular Mushi's Kitchen, claims he survived an attack from the legendary aging mascot. Just jump right out at me, man. Todd. Bunhole news. Todd. Back to you. I guess that was me. She's kitchen. <laughs> um. I work alone. <laughs> In Mushi's footsteps, I'm gonna kill everybody. Yeah, Mushi is my idol. He taught me how to cook. Mushi is the best in the world. Nobody can beat him. Nobody can beat him. Mushi. Mushi, Mushi's kitchen. Mushi, Mushi, Mushi's kitchen. It's where it's at. Mushi's kitchen is where it's at. It's where it's at. Mushi's kitchen. And his mom in the background. Yeah, I cook, cooking, cooking up ahead on the stove. No, she's kitchen is where I'm at since 4-29-69. That's right, since April 20th, 1969. I've been here at Mushi's cooking all day, every day with my boy Mushi all day. My boy Mushi on the way. My, my boy Mushi. 
I was at work today and a man and his family and his friends came in and the friend bought him a drink. At the same time, he ordered a drink and basically ended up with two of the same drink. He asked and then upon refusal ordered that the drink should be refunded or replaced with an appetizer. We denied his request. And so his kid who had ordered a pizza, a little child's pizza and ice cream. He, he, he basically took the food off his kid and said, my kid doesn't like the food. Can I have a refund? We denied him that as well. So what he did was he went round to every table collected every condiment from in every table and threatened to walk out with them if we didn't refund the money and when i say refund we're talking less than five pounds we still denied his request um he told us to phone the police on him um which we didn't we didn't really want to escalate it but if it was going to get any worse we would and after the chefs left the kitchen to see what was going on he left never in my wildest dreams did i think that that man who threatened to steal a dozen bottles of tomato ketchup was the weirdest man the second weirdest man that i would meet today congratulations Latchland Shelton you're weirder than the tomato ketchup thief Just, just keep rolling into everything. <laughs> <laughs> 